game factory where fun is made. All right, hello and welcome. We're just gonna jump straight into it. So, let's talk about Kolioko stuff. As some of you know, Game Factory had a contest for their upcoming game, Kolioko Quest for Infinity, where one lucky fan would get the chance to have a cameo in the game as well as receive a brand new Wii console with a copy of Quest for Infinity. The challenge was to create a drawing of an original monster to be judged by the creative staff of the Kolioko video game. Second through 20th place winners for their efforts would have their drawings stored in a hidden room in the final game and also receive a copy of the game but without the console. And that said hidden room is what interested me to make this video. It is located behind the door named Goodies but you have to beat the story mode first to unlock the hidden room. When watching a friend play it recently last year, we found the hidden room and we're all curious as to what exactly these drawings were. We had originally thought that they were concepts of other monsters that didn't make the final game. But the true reason is actually cooler because of the fact that they gave 19 other fans an opportunity to showcase their fan art into an official game. That's just so cool of them. I do not remember where the first place winner's cameo is in the game, I guess I'll have to play Where's Waldo when fully playing it for the first time, but in this case it would just be called Where's First Winner's Cameo. Wait, I was wrong. You do in fact unlock concept art in the goodies room after beating the game, but there's one room that's titled differently in only the Wii version, and that is the contest room. In the PS2 and PSP versions, the room is just a save and load option. Millie is also in different places when clicking on her. The cameo is found in the contest room standing next to her art. Sarah was the first place winner, so she's the only one with the cameo, which is again just so cool. She must be so honored. By clicking the right arrow, you can also look at the drawings by the other 19 winners. Also, you don't have to beat the game to unlock the uh, contest room. The contest room should already be available when you first start the game. While we're talking about Kyo Fi, I just want to say that the concept art for this game is gorgeous. This is how I picture a new Koyoko game to look like if one was to come out now. Just, oh man. is up to her old tricks again. The fate of the worlds of Earth and Lyoko are in great danger. And the Lyoko heroes are ready to battle with their old foe. So get ready to virtualize with Code Lyoko Quest for Infinity. Explore new sectors, fight with new weapons, and streak across Lyoko with new vehicles. One thing is for sure, it's going to be one wild ride. Play as your favorite heroes, Yumi, Odd, Elita, Ulrich, and Jeremy. Code Lyoko Quest for Infinity is chock full of twists and turns. Track down the mysterious William. Battle evil clones, all while staving off the non-stop attacks of Xana. Play in the 2D real world and the 3D computer world of Lyoko. Each mission is more hair-raising than the last. As you shoot, fight, explore, and solve puzzles in this all-new digital adventure. With Code Lyoko Quest for Infinity, the fate of Lyoko and Earth are up to you. Every weekday afternoon, come hang with the Goozy Gang. Here we go. Log on for adventure with Code Lyoko at 4. Yeah! Cast a spell with Zatch Bell at 4.30. Keep on blasting him, Zatch! Stack the deck with Yu-Gi-Oh! GX at 5. It's your game on! And sleuth in style with the Totally Spies at 5.30. Your super spies now, you can handle it. Maguzi, weekdays from 4 to 6. Ha-ha! <laughs> Only on Cartoon Network. The girls of Whoop are styling it up right now. Coming up next is Code Lyoko. And later on, it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Stick around. <coughs> what? Okay, so you know Osberg's fan project, Kolioko Adventures? Well, there's an arc where Xana takes complete control of Ailita and becomes a bad bitch. Her name becomes Xylita, and she looks like this. You got longer lines that cross her face, horns, and red wings when she flies. And so a user named Batooth made a sick Kyo5 mod of Ailita by changing the skin texture to make her look exactly like Oz's Xylita from his fan project. Which is just so cool. I also recommend trying out the mod yourself. I'm definitely going to be using this mod when I play Kyo 5 soon for the first time. I would totally love to see more mods for this game. That would be really cool. I will link both Osberg's fan project and Batu's video down below where he links the texture mod and a tutorial in his description. So go check them out. Here's an interesting fact. Some of the tracks from the show are actually not 100% original. Yeah. And just to show you, here's two examples. Does this sound familiar? 
Yeah, it's the Kadok theme. It was composed by Zolt Marks, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. The track came out in 2005 though, so that makes this Koyoko track an original. But then there's this one. The Desert Sector. This track came out in 2001, before Kolyoko was even aired, and the track was composed by Rob Lord and not Herman Martin, who was the composer for Kolyoko. I'm curious if Herman has any credits in these tracks. Hopefully we'll find out in an upcoming interview with him that's currently in the works. And speaking of interviews, there was an interview with the voice actor of Ulrich Stern recently. Barbara Scaff tells us what other projects she's been and currently working on, as well as expressing how upset she felt when Moonscoop didn't call the original voice actors back for Evolution. I totally recommend you checking it out. I'll put the video in the description. Now getting back to soundtracks, I recently found a high quality version of the Desert Horse Boss from Kyo Fi. A few seconds in, you can hear the same kind of choir that's used in William's theme. It's a dope boss track. In other music news, a couple of tracks on YouTube hit over 1 million views. William's theme and the Koyoko theme song. Another video that hit over 1 million views is episode 1, Teddy Godzilla, on the English YouTube channel. And also congrats to Osberg's video from his fan project for hitting over 100,000 views. Fucking crazy. Starting at 5, Maguzi's making waves with the best action shows and underwater fun like you've never seen before. All we need is you. Time to take it up a notch. Quick, jump on! Dive in at 5 with the girls of Boop for Totally Spies. Usually the bad guys leave us in a hopeless predicament. 5.30, the kids fight Santa in Code Lyoko. Uh, this is no time to miss your target. Uh. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles kick a little shell at six. You're going down, freaks. Turtles rule! And the Teen Titans take on Slade and the worst villains around at 6.30. Are we going to go quietly? Or is this going to get loud? Magoozie, weekdays 5 to 7. Come on in. The water's fine. Only on Cartoon Network. Join the battle against Santa, Code Lyoko style. Get ready to virtualize. The fate of the worlds of Earth and Lyoko are in great danger. One thing is certain, our heroes are ready to risk everything to win the fight. Play as your favorite characters, Yumi, Odd, Alita, Ulrich, and Jeremy. Code Lyoko for the Nintendo DS is packed with hordes of monsters, intense mini-games, and blazing fast driving sections. Battle through 30 massive levels, 15 in the 2D world, and 15 levels in the 3D world of Lyoko. Navigate traps and obstacles, hack through puzzles, and level up, all in an effort to eradicate the Xana virus. Join us, the fate of Lyoko is up to you. In stores May 24th, rated E for everyone. Oh no! Fire away! I'll take care of these guys. Let's go! Shortly after the original show ended, there was a time where the voice actors and other crew members were very interactive with the fanbase. Apparently they were active in Kolyoko forums such as Lyoko Freak, which became the name of Kolyoko's fanbase. Not so much now, these days fans refer to the fanbase as Lyoko Warriors, but I really wish I was around during that era of the community though, but at the time I had already forgotten about the show. 
The four sectors aren't really interactive anymore. However, they know that we still very much exist and every now and then you'll get content from different people, from the crew, whether that is like special anniversary videos, fan-made video game appearances, or interviews, which is still great. They seem to care very much about Kolyoko and the fans. I kind of wish they would get together to make like a YouTube channel to do little videos of skits or just whatever they can come up with, just, just a way to stay in touch and keep the community alive. That would be so cool. But now time has passed, Mediatoon slash Dargod owns the current license to Kolyoko. They have uploaded all episodes of Kolyoko and Evolution, as well as the whole Subdigital's album. Mediatoon wanted to upload more content to the channel, and thanks to the Kolyoko.fr page, they were able to. And if you don't know already, Kolyoko.fr is a site that you can find a lot of Kolyoko content. There's so much, it's, it's insane. Like, it's the number one place to go to when looking for that kind of stuff. Well anyway, the people over at Kolyoko.fr were able to get in contact with Mediatoon and send them old school Kolyoko media, such as all the bonus clips from the DVDs, since not everything got transferred over before Moon Scoop disappeared. But after that, Mediatoon still wanted to do more for the fans. Quote.fr, in order to boost that channel, Mediatoon wants to relay Kolyoko AMVs. Mediatoon would like to upload these AMVs to their channel while crediting the Arthur. End quote. That was just so cool of them. I was really shocked and happy to hear about that when the news broke out. At the time we were told if you're good at making video montages and interested in helping pursue the Koyoko adventure a little longer and see your AMV on the official channel, to send them straight to their email. Mediatune stopped at 3 sadly. I'm sure there were lots of submissions though, I had even sent my old one from 2015 that was taken down on YouTube but then eventually came back up. But all well. Still very cool of them to be open to release fan made work on their channel. You can tell they really want to do more with Kolyoko, but only small things like sharing fan content to interact with the fans. Hopefully they will do more stuff like that. That's all I have for this video, I'm not sure if I'll do another one like this. This video was only supposed to be about the QFI contest, but then I found out more things that I wanted to talk about because some Kolyoko fans might not know of certain things, so yeah. I also want to say thank you to a good friend of mine that I've known for 4 years now, Osbrick Ozen, for helping me revamp my channel by bringing my ideas to life. He's a very talented individual and deserves all the credit, so thank you again Oz. Also, go give him a follow please, like right after this video, okay? Do it, please. Thank you. Well anyways, I hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching and have a blessed day. Oh, and rock on. Yahoo! Get ready, Maguzi's sending you back to school with all new episodes of Code Lyoko. Good idea. New students, new adventures. We're fighting in a virtual universe against a demonic artificial intelligence. Same old saving the world from that evil supercomputer. Tower deactivated. Catch an all new episode of Code Lyoko, coming up next. Get ready, it's starting again. On Maguzi.